This is a short tutorial about eDrawing software. eDrawings is a piece of software that can be used to view a 3D model created by Fifex. After downloading the software, you can then take your attachment off your email or the file, however we sent it to you, and it'll look like this. Double click it, and the eDrawings window will open up. Now, you're gonna see here a view of an exhibit or with a wind turbine created by Paul, and uh, we've got a default view here. There are lots and lots of tools in eDrawings and we can't possibly show you them all, so we're just going to look at the most useful ones. The first is the rotate. Let's click on that. Now that will allow us to move the model in any way we want, up or down, flip it, turn it. And you can see there, let's just have a quick look at the features that um, on the model. Now, there are various zoom tools. Let's look at zoom to area. And for that, we just drag an area out and we'll zoom in close on that. Let's click the select button then as we drag over the model it's just going to tell us what we're we're looking at um, and give us some detail on that. Now we're going to look at the finger guard we want to see beneath it so let's let's right click it or context click it and we can actually hide it. It disappears from view and underneath we can see the fan assembly. Now one of the great things is we can actually measure this. So if we go to the left menu, there's some more tools that we'll just quickly look at. Let's click on the measuring tape, activate the measure, and we're going to measure an edge. As we drag over the model, it will show us any edge that is measurable. So let's take a look at this one. Okay, that's 110 mil, and we can do that for, for any of the, the pieces on the model and just check that everything fits um, what we wanted. Now, to get back out to the main view, we can go back and click home. That takes us to the default view. Now going back to the left menu, there's another button here, which is the views button. And we can click through a number of set views. These are the default views just created for us. That's just a quick way of looking at things. But let's go back to the view created by Fifex in the file. You can see on the left all the components. Now this is the components menu. You can see all of them there, everything that's in the model. And if you're particularly interested in any of them, you can click on it, find out more information about it and what it's doing. Now, cross-section. Uh, let's have a quick look at the cross-section tool. We can insert a cross-section. And by default, eDrawings has put one in in the XY plane. But of course, we can, we can change the plane and we can manipulate the tool can zoom in then and turn it and that will allow us to look in greater detail at the very inside of the model. Now the markup tool, the little pencil here, is a really useful tool and um, before I do this I'm going to go back to default view again. So let's go back to markup and we can go text with leader. This just allows us to click on an object in the model and write a comment about it. I've just asked a, a quick question there, can, can this be in blue? I hit the tick and that goes in. Now anyone that looks at this file after me can then see that comment, they can see it was made by me and the date on which I made it and um, if you were writing a comment you could send that back to Fifex or with a series of comments and we can answer each of these or look at them and of course it can be useful if you're working in a team. The final thing is the stamp tool. Now the comments can be deleted or removed or edited by other people. The stamp tool is absolutely permanent and if I click their draft, stick that on, that's it and that'll, that'll be there forever. So that's a very quick look at some of the, the tools and the features in, in eDrawings. Um, and Fifex uses this tool to show clients sketches and renders and, and drawings before production of all the products. So. Um, it will allow you to look in great detail. More information on downloading the software or viewing the files online can be found on the Fifex website in the Design Create section.